Hi everyone, welcome back to Online Darts. Here we are at the Target Fisherman of the Stars. We're at Flying Scotsman, Gary Anderson. Gary, you must be over the moon today. You've got just finished your coffee. You're here fishing. Smiling. <laughs> I was going to say, this, this, this is you and your element, isn't it? As, as you know, like I said, I've got right into it over the last couple of years. But like my darts, absolutely rubbish at it. But I just, I just enjoy it so much. You know, it's just like I say, out in the fresh air, peace, quiet. If you're lucky enough to catch a fish, bonus, you know. But uh, nah, good daisies. You're well, pretty well equipped to win this as well, aren't you? The amount of practice you've done recently. It's about the same as what I've done in the practice board. <laughs> zero, you know. I a lot of time off, not a lot of fishing done either. So you know, lots of time spending babysitting and looking after all the dogs. So you know, we see Tiny's nice and small. Tiny's a, a wee bit on the wee side, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, a new member of the family. Yes, yes. Looking at it as well, have you had time to reflect on the match play? Because you kept telling us no, it won't happen. You ended up getting to the final, losing to Dimitri in the end. But have you had time to reflect on that? No, really. You know, yeah. got there, got beat. But what's there to think about? You know, I mean, Dimitri had it easy. You know, I, I wasn't even close. I think I was still stuck halfway in the M25. But uh, no, Dimitri had it easy. He'd done enough to beat me, which wasn't a lot on that night. So, but ah, these things happen. To get to the final, you know, couldn't believe it myself. You told us you were going to tinker with your darts. Have you had a new set made yet? I'm not a new set made. I've dug out mold phase twos. The one with the scalloping? Yeah, yeah. So when I do get a practice board, I'll have a shot and let you know how they're going. <laughs> but that's the plan. Just a wee bit heavier, 24 grams. I, was, I, just, I don't know if it's my hands or what. It's, uh, I just kind of seem to grip them right. So hopefully this will eliminate a bit of the slipping out the hand. See Ronnie O'Sullivan over the weekend moaning he didn't have a cue action but suddenly found one. You, oh, I know what it means. You, 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 you were telling us you haven't had a dart action. My, my, my <laughs> action's away, you know. I'm, I keep looking for it and cannot find it, you know. If you ever come across it, can you let me know where it is? No, it's, it's like I say, it's, it's, we're having, I think, it's lack of practice and uh, going up there just sometimes when you stand it doesn't feel right but like I say, it's all down to as much practice as you put on. Did the match play remind you that the game is still there? Because in spells, in we, spells, we, spells yeah, we saw some really yeah. good bits. Uh, when it goes well, it goes well. But then when it goes bad, it's not just a wee bit under playing well, it's really bad, you know. So, yeah, it's a big difference. There's no kind of B in between A and C, you know. It's either good or terrible. But, nah, it'll come. I think once we're back playing now, six nights in a trot for the Premier League, you know, and it's, that'll definitely help. Talking of the Premier League, you've got a tough three games coming up, those, those opening three before Judgment Night. If you were going to remind Michael Smith of what happened in the, the match play? Yeah, right, they have got a tough game, no, all three of them. <laughs> but uh, no, nah, listen, we're going to go up there and see what happens, you know, but it can all be in the day with darts. You know, you can turn up, play absolute brilliant, you can turn up the next game day, not hit a, a band or a hedgehog, you know, so it's, uh, it's one of these things. But no, it'll be good getting back playing. It'll be strange, same circumstances, a bit different. You know, and it's, uh, yeah. The Autumn Series coming up as well. Were you slightly surprised that PDC took the Pro Tour out of the UK with everything that's going on in the world at the moment? Oh, I'm getting into politics now. Don't do that. Uh, yeah. I always think it's safe. I'm not 100% happy about leaving the country, to be honest. So we're just going to have to see. I mean, you think it's getting better, then all of a sudden you get on the news and all the papers and that. It's, this country shutting down, that country shutting down again. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. So, but uh, yeah, a bit surprised about closer. Milton Keynes is brilliant. Like I say, staying there playing five, six, seven days, getting all the pro tours over and done with in a, a week. Fantastic, you know. So I'm the fact that, that you're in the bubble as well, so you know you're secure. Yeah, where yeah. in Germany, by the sounds of it, it's not going to be. No, that we're now looking at three flights to get there, taxis, trains everywhere to get there. You know, hotels. What's the hotels going to be like? Is there a danger you won't go? They're dangerous, no? <laughs> no, nah, I just don't know. I'm just, like I say, I want to try looking after myself and I definitely want to look after my family now when I get back. So, you know, we're just, we're just going to have to see what happens. I think it's a bit, still a bit in the red line a bit. Gary, we'll let you get back to the peg. Pleasure as always, mate. Thank you very much. Yeah.